Hi, welcome to April Wrestling, April Anime Figures Hall. We have the Shulekta Mercury Gundam series. We have the two sets of the Cranio Sinchan family portrait, your plain clothes, and my first ever Chainsaw Man prize figure, and a power Linda Lloyd doll. All right, let's start with your. I've been pretty excited to get your, as this will complete the family to display with Lloyd and Anya, and even yeah. Bond. It's read that the season two has been announced as well. It'll be coming out this year in 2023. There we go. Oh, come in with blister pack. pack. Remove it from the back. And your. Two pages on the base to attach the feet. It's in a bit funny angle. Here's your. With a very gentle pose. With a close up, it's her white hairband with her golden ear wings, long black hair, big blown warm yellow orange eyes, the yellow cheek marks. I think that stands out a little bit too much. And with a big smile. The nice woolen texture on her orange red outfit with some subtle folds. From the back, you can see her outfit is a two piece with dark grey leggings, cream coloured boots on the light teal round best with the Spy X family logo. Let's bring in the rest of the forges. All of these are from Sega. Lloyd is also from the same figure series. The plain clothes set, the style looks a bit right, all the same prices. Check out those details on the faces. Your and Lloyd looking really great. I'm, not, I'm still not too happy with Anne's face. Bond looking very really smart. The texture on Lloyd's clothes look, looks a lot better. Maybe because the red orange on yours gives a very placid and harsh look to it. Your and Lloyd's faces match from the same set, but Anya and Bond's face stands up a bit like sword form. All looking nice from the back. You can definitely see how energetic Anya is. So cool to have the forges together. They all look so happy. All right, on to the next one. Select the Mercury. I've been really enjoying this anime series. It's been a while since I watched Gundam. The last one was Gundam Seed. I actually watched the prologue for this one first. That was a pretty epic episode. Great to see a mecha anime getting popular again. There we go. Oh, looking pretty good. Let's cut the plastic. Let's attach the legs to the body and then attach the stand to the base and then the legs to the pegs on the base. There we go. Select the Mercury from Band Presto Prize figure with a very carefree pose. On close up, you can see her black hairband with a light blue diamonds, semi short cut wet hair, her tunicky eyebrows, green eyes, with very clean and well painted golden details against the black shoulder pads, different layers. From the back, the, the flowing red ponytail with green and white hair ties. All this against a white with black and gold detail holder uniform, white shorts, black boots with light blue silver lining. On the blue transparent base and stand, they keep the figure straight, not too distracting. With a double, we'll be unboxing the Kwanyong Shinchan's family, the Nohalas. Let's we'll start with Shinchan and his dad. Always really enjoyed the Kwanyong Shinchan. I only really read the comics, but from what I hear, the dub is pretty full on. Hiroshi, the dad's quite heavy. <laughs> That's quite a fun. Alright, uh -huh, let's get him out. Hiroshi, Tudela, head to body. Yeah, it's <laughs> so stylized. I really like how they captured the style from the comic. There we go. Shin Chan. I think the legs just slide between the, the base. Star makes it look really weird. On to volume two. But the mum and the young sister. Actually, haven't got far enough into the comic to meet the sister, but I do know of her from seeing screenshots. And the combo of Shin Chan and mum was caused a lot of hilarity in the show. Yeah. Wow. It's a really small packet. Oh, actually, comes with a chair. I wish those noodle stoppers came with chairs too. And mum and this baby sister, all in one piece. No pegs, just slide her in. Aha! I'll follow the picture on the box. <laughs> the Nohola family in their formal outfits. Just missing Shiro, the family dog. On close up, Juno Suke with his short hair and simples on his chin. Simple eyes, matches the comic style perfectly. What an interesting style. Well with thick stand holder, matching his suit color. Here we have Shin Chan with a surprise expression with a cute blue suit and a red tie. Onto Lise with her puffy light brown hair. I think they really captured the drawing perfectly. Wearing white earrings and the red pearl necklace. Himawali, the baby sister. She looks a bit sad in pink baby clothes, teeny feet, held by Misai from the back. Man, Shin Chan's stand really stands out a bit too much. Junosuke's stands okay. Chair's a great addition. Let's check out Junosuke's weight, 0.99 ounces, which is 280 grams. Take away the stand, they're much better. Perfect time for the photo. If you have been enjoying the video so far, please give it a like. Alright, let's continue on with Chainsaw Man. Start with Power. We've been enjoying collecting Nendo Rider the last few months and pretty cool that they've been doing the Chainsaw Man quite early. I'm loving the 
magenta color on the box with this platter of green. Yeah. The instructions as well. Let's take the pieces out of the box for a whole bunch of these. When I went to pick up the pre-orders, it's out for the staples. Take one out and I'm just attach it to her back because her hair will definitely get in the way. It's tricky to put in the first time. Okay, there we go. The Power Lizard Lloyd or from Good Smart Company. Default pose out of the box. Very shiny and sharp horns. It's great that they can be detached. Big red and yellow eyes with cross hair pattern. Tough shirt tucked in. Got the black tie. This usually just look like little bows on the feet. I'm not sure that's power's style. The easy stance keeping the fingers stand nice and straight. Clean finish on the flowing hair. Just cover half the body. Next pile is Hoven the Blood Weapon Hammer. With a nice semi transparent finish. Shiny glossy red. Looks kind of cute for a weapon. Next up, the Speed Blood Weapons. These look much more deadly. Let's put in the Chainsaw Man Nendor Lloyd on. Breath in attack mode. <laughs> Zombie hand. This power blasting or just really enjoying the food. I really like the addition on the puffy cheeks. Adds a lot of character. Adding Denji with his uh, teasing face. And my favorite pose. Look at how happy power is when she sees Miyawe. Hmm, Miyawe face could do some work. But power is happy. Teaming up with Denji with Pochita. Uh, Denji is not as expressive. And Miyawe with Pochita. The perfect combo. It looks so cute and good fun. Here are all the different poses of power. Which one's your favorite? Comment below. Phew, that's quite a few different configurations. All right, onto the last but not the least. Aha, the Chainsaw Man Devil of the Luminasa line. Haha, <laughs> very excited to unbox this. Definitely a very unique price figure. Really nicely designed as well with a nice color scheme. Hey, hey. Oh, the whole thing comes out. Let's remove the base. It's a shame it's a plain base. Yeah. Right for the figure itself. Ooh, there we go. A lot of bubble wrap. Bag of stuff. Whoa, wow, so many pieces. That's probably why they have the instructions on the back. Nice set piece. Special man's body. Oh, and a whole bunch of accessories. All right, let's put the instructions on the back. Attach the head to the body. Head change all onto the head. A little slip for it. Nice. Attach the arms. Go for the form. Match up the shape. There we go. Match up the other side. There we go. Attach the base on. The three giant pegs onto the base. And that locked in. Oh, that's on the front. We have an eye saw already. And change them uh, into the set piece. And leg paint onto the stand. Push it in. There we go. All right. Well done. Tantrum Man Devil from Sega Luminista. Price figure lines. Such a dynamic pose. Great details on the side. Matte finish on the black. Got the glowing yellow eyes through the grating. Super white sharp teeth. With shapely tongue sticking out. Very thin chainsaw on the head. Nice texture but very flat feel to it. Same for the arm chainsaws. Bit flat and dull looking. Other than texture that helps it a little bit. Very great finish on the hand flow. Putting the movement on the tie and shirt with the creases. Black pants with white shoes with wet outlines. Nice chunky fin shoe them. Really feel the volume of the shoe. With his other feet pushing off some stone and metal debris. Does some brown airbrushing, but that's not really stand out. It really gives the energy to the looking forward pose. The pose is king here. You really feel the power of the chainsaw devil. Let's be in the Lendoid or Tensile Man. Here we go. Just a quick comparison. The Lendoid or shiny finish or chainsaw really adds to it, especially when you compare to the Sega prize figure. Even gloss finish on the wet parts of the head really adds more character to it. But the wet eyes on the Sega prize figure does really help the head jump out. But the blade on the head really does feel really thin. But both really capture the sharp teeth and tongue in cheek. And then we have the April 2023 and the Fear of Hall. Well, great addition to the collection. Let me know in the comment which one is your favorite or let me know if you have picked up anything new this month. <laughs> See you next video. Bye.